Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll be incorporating user parameters into my script. I'm going to use user parameters to suppress and unsuppress a fillet. This fillet that you see highlighted in red in the graphic area. Let's begin by creating some user parameters in the parameters window. We'll use a add true false. Let's give it a name. I'll call it my parameter. Under Unit, I'll select True, and let's click Done. Now let's edit our rule Suppress Features, double-click on it, and let's write some code here. Right-click on Fillet 1, Capture Current State. Let's delete this second line here, highlight True, and let's replace it with the user parameter. Now go to the Options tab, and let's check Don't Run Automatically. Click OK. Now let's open up the Parameters window again. Let's change the value from My Parameter to False, and click Done. Nothing happens, as you see. Let's click Update. But still nothing happens. Basically, the state of the fillet is controlled by the rule. Since we opted for the rule to not run automatically, the change of parameters doesn't take effect. Let's right-click on our rule and select Run Rule. Now let's open it up, go back to Options, and uncheck Don't Run Automatically. Let's click OK. Back to the Parameters window. Let's select True. As you saw, as soon as I selected True, the rule ran automatically. Let's click Done and let's go back to our code. Now I'm going to create an algorithm to control the state of fillet1. I'm going to use the message box function for this. Let me change the message here. I'll type fillet1. Activation Suppression. And let's insert a hard return. So space underscore enter, ampersand space, VB carriage return line feed constant, space ampersand space, set a double quotation marks, and within that I'll type yes, dash, active, comma, no, dash, and suppressed. Now let's add a yes-no button argument. Actually, let's add a yes-no cancel argument. Double-click on this snippet. Now if the user clicks yes, the return value is 6. If the user clicks no, the return value is 7. And if the user cancels the operation, the return value is 2. Actually, let's place a second message box to monitor the return value. And of course, the return value is stored in variable A. Now let me write an if-else statement. Just bring in the if-else. If the user clicks yes, i equals 6, then my parameter equals true. If the user clicks no, i equals 7, and my parameter equals false. Equals and false. Let's run our rule and see how it works. Let's suppress the fillet by clicking no here. The message box function returns a value of 7. Let's click OK. And the fillet is suppressed. Right-click Run Rule. This time, let's click Yes. The message box function returns 6. And click OK, and our fillet is active. Let's run the rule again. Right-click, Run Rule, and this time we'll select Cancel. The return value is 2. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about user parameters.